Hiya, um, it's me again. I've just had a crack at unit two of the online TEFL course. Um, it was on s parts of speech and I was really nervous about this one because as much as you kind of think you know about nouns and adjectives and verbs, um, what I kind of <laughs> realise is that a lot of this you sort of learn as a native English speaker when you're younger, but you don't actually always know what all of them mean as you sort of get older and, and you sort of just do it automatically and especially when we got to things like comparative adjectives and, and things like that it was it was quite difficult for me to define what they actually were. Um, I realise also that as a as a foreign student learning English these are the sorts of things that you can really lack confidence in and and also that they your students can kind of lose confidence in you if you don't know what they are so I realised how important it was actually. Um, also, I realised how important simple rules in speech are to a language and how how you go about correcting your students and, and making sure that they're using the right kind of language rules um, can transform how they become as an English speaker and how well they do. So it's actually a really solid foundation. Um, again, I kind of work through... Um, each section the questions were multiple choice again so I just had to go each each one I realized a lot of my own strengths and weaknesses and I realized that you don't have to kind of be an expert at all these things but you you do need a basic knowledge of them and, and if you don't know what they are you have to learn and that's why the course is great because it's given me a real opportunity to go back and say do you know what I'm not sure what a comparative adjective is and I need to know that and I need to know how to explain it to someone who has no clue so fantastic unit really really like this one um didn't do as well on it as i did on the first one so it's a bit of a sort of self self lesson as well and i'll go back and and um sort of look over what i got wrong um so yeah feeling quite good about it the test again was good um gave me lots of examples before i took it uh, moved through it quite quickly um and also one thing i forgot to mention in unit one is that it does give you an opportunity at the end of each section to kind of give your own thoughts about what you thought of the unit so what you've learned what you thought was difficult so that's good sort of feedback for the course as well so um, make sure you kind of have your say at the end and, and raise anything that you're not feeling great about or confident about but um yeah really good um on to unit three